Let's get started. Healthcare. Healthcare is a major component in building a solid financial foundation. So, nakikita po natin dito sa uh, libro natin, which is uh, our uh, one of our main references, uh, itong The Secret to Saving and Building Your Future. And this is the book uh, designed by IMG for all the Filipinos, no? for all Pinoys out there, whether you're from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, or whether you're located abroad no, or overseas. So ito po yung isa sa mga libro na dinidesign at uh, ginawa ng uh, Filipino uh, for the Filipinos. So by the Filipinos, for the Filipinos. Kasi ang daming uh, mga references out there, ang daming libro na specifically financial book or financial books. no, And then, uh, minsan yung author is a foreigner. So, hindi naman nila alam kung ano yung talagang uh, totoong sitwasyon no? sa Pilipinas or sa mga Pilipinoy. So, I uh, suggest you guys you read a book that is authored by a Filipino. And that is the, the, the thing. But um, secondly, uh, I suggest that uh, you read a book na talagang uh, ginawa for a purpose to educate or uh, purpose of educating Filipinos all about achieving financial security. So, uh, again, going back to the cover of this book, kita natin itong parang staircase, no? So, ito yung uh, tinatawag natin na financial uh, foundation. So, if you notice, merong mga small objects dyan, no? Mga symbols like yung piggy bank, yung uh, sack of money, bag of money, and then uh, ano yan, property. So, those symbolizes wealth. It means to say, this wealth, these symbols of wealth, uh, should be standing on top of uh, the foundation. Meaning, sa baba pala ng wealth, importante merong foundation. Kasi yung madalas nakikita natin, yung, uh, yung, yung, ano lang, yung symbols of wealth yun, bahay, yung pera, investments, assets, ganyan, uh, properties, yun yung madalas nakikita natin, no? That are very obvious. Pero hindi natin napapansin yung underlying yung foundation. Same thing with pag uh, nagko-construct ka ng isang building, yung nakikita mo, wow, ganda ng design ng building. Pero hindi mo napansin at hindi mo rin nalaman how tedious and how Para bang uh, how important, how significant that uh, that building is standing on a solid foundation. Okay, so marami tayong mga friends na engineers, specifically uh, civil engineers. Yun, no? uh, it's hard work talaga yung uh, no, pagbuhos uh, ng cemento, sand and gravel para uh, strengthen yung foundation ng isang building, especially if it's more than 10 story building, no? So, they, 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 they hindi yun, ano, uh, hindi yun parang uh, pabilisan, no? It's, it, it takes time to strengthen the foundation and it takes the right component. So, relating it to financial foundation, hindi magtatagal yung kung anumang wealth mo ngayon if kulang or weak yung foundation. And healthcare is one of the major component in building a solid financial foundation. Meaning, kung kulang, kung walang healthcare sa foundation mo, sa components na yan, hindi strong, hindi solid. Para kang, again, no, uh, concrete, no? may cemento, tubig, sand and gravel, ano pang i-mix mo dyan, Pero kulang ng cemento, parang ganun eh. So, marami sa atin, later on, as we go on these slides, no? marami sa atin in the Philippines uh, are not aware na kulang pala ang healthcare nila. Okay? That's why, first slide, uh, we remind everybody na healthcare is a major component in building a solid financial foundation. And the next question is, when will you get sick. When will you and I get sick? Possibly bang 
pwede bang magkakasakit tayo habang bata pa tayo? Or pwede bang magkakasakit, pwede, posible bang magkakasakit pagtanda natin? Ewan ko, I'm not really sure. Kasi, you know, as much as we want, we want to stay healthy. Okay? Pero, there are really times that we get sick. And we get sick during younger years. And we get sick during older years. So, if we get sick during younger years, the more chance na magkakasakit ka during the older years. So, in short, the wise move is you just prepare for both. In case you get sick during the younger years, meron kang health care in place. In case you get sick during the older years, dapat meron ka ding health care in place. And sa atin, dito sa Pilipinas, or for the Filipinos, yung pinaka-common na health care benefit is itong short-term health care. Pero, this is usually available sa mga private employees. Usually, no? May mga organizations, may mga public organizations, may government organization. Uh, meron din silang mga sort of healthcare benefit. Pero usually, yung nakaka-afford lang ang ganitong benefit for the employees is or are the private companies. So, tinatawag natin yan traditional HMO. HMO stands for Health Maintenance Organization or which is we commonly call it short-term healthcare. So, pa sa pangalan pa lang, short-term meaning to say the coverage is limited. How limited? Usually, the coverage is only for one year. And after one year, mag-expire yung coverage. Next year ulit, if the company decides to, to get uh, a healthcare benefit for the employees, mag-renew ulit, and then covered na naman ulit for one year. So, that is what is meant by short-term health care. And if the company or if the organization continues to provide health care for a specific group of people every year for the next 5 to 10 to 20 years, okay yon, Okay? Okay yon if you are still with that company. Okay? So, again, again, again naging, naging short-term siya kasi even if the company can afford to buy health care for you or for the employees, every year for the next 10 years, 20 years, eh, what if magre-retire ka or mag-re-resign mag ka or you get up from that company or corporate employer 10 years after? So, hindi mo madadala yung benefit. Okay? That's why it's also called short-term. And what if you decide to stay in that employer on that employer with that employer for the next 20 to 30 years and sabihin natin na kinakover lahat ng benefit? That's good. Pero by the time you retire, you finally retire, you will not bring with you, you will not be able to bring with you all the benefits including that health care. So that's why it's called short-term health care. Then, on the right side, long-term health care. Uh, yung long-term health care, meron din siyang short-term component, meaning to say, kumuha ka ngayon ng health care, covered ka within this year, and the, 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 the name implies a long-term, it means yung coverage mo, posibleng long-term. And yung, yung premium, yung payment, sinasabi nila, kasi nagbabayad ka, but sometimes I call it savings, no? savings component, premium, Seven years ka lang magsisim. Sabi dito, no? fixed premium for seven years. Pero you can get covered even beyond seven years. Even beyond 20 years. That's why it's called long-term health care. So at least for this slide, alam mo na na meron palang two major types of health care. Short-term health care, long-term health care. Some people tell me, Jess, which is better? Actually, it's better to have both. Okay? Dapat meron kang yung dalawa. Short-term health care and long-term health care. Okay? Pero in case yung employer mo hindi ka binigyan ng short-term health care, then pwede kang yung long-term health care na lang. Pwede mong piliin yung long-term health care na lang. Kasi it comes also with a health care at the time that you get started and within the year. Magkukuha mo yung coverage, magkukuha, mabayaran mo yung premium within the year, covered ka per one year until the second year, until the third or fourth year, as long as you continue for the next seven years. So, meron na siyang short-term component. Ibig sabihin nun, meron ng short-term component ang long-term health care. Okay? So, walang mas better dito ha, in case something 
someone will ask me which is better, uh, ito na lang sa akin, short term. Ito na lang sa akin. Better to have both. Okay? It's better to have both. Kasi hindi natin alam eh. Alright? Hindi natin alam. Now, if you have short term healthcare already, then good news is, isa na lang yung kulang mo, long term. Okay? So, what is long term care? Ano ba yung long term care talaga? Or LTC. Long term care is associated with older people. However, due to illness and accidents, long term care can be needed by everyone at any age. Most illness and diseases come out during old age. So, I think we all agree, no? Even the, the, the most health conscious people, they really also do get sick. So, they also need health care. The more if you are not really 100% health conscious, no? And it is the help you need and coverage you purchase to provide medical and non-medical care service when one is unable to do the basics of daily living. Yan yung sabi po dito. So it means to say pala, yung long-term healthcare, it is not just about hospitalization. Kasi madalas iniisip natin pag sinabing long-term healthcare or healthcare, kinoconnect natin sa, sa ibang uh, interpretation which is we call health insurance. Yung health insurance, they are closely related with healthcare. Sometimes people interchange it. But to be specific, PhilHealth. If alam mo yung PhilHealth, PhilHealth is health insurance. Kaya yung pangalan ng PhilHealth, Philippine Health Insurance System uh, or Corporation. No? Kasi health insurance si PhilHealth. So kasi pag sinabing insurance, it will cover you when you get sick. And especially pag hospitalization. So yung main purpose talaga ng health insurance is gagamitin mo dapat para ma-enjoy mo. And dapat kang ma-hospital. Yan yung health insurance. But pag long-term health care kasi, pag health care yung uh, pinag-uusapan natin, it does not only refer to hospitalization, ma-admit ka, kasi pwede ka man din mag-maximize, gumamit ng health care kung magpa-check up ka, kung mag-regular laboratory, especially during old age. Uh, kailangan ka nang magpa-check up regularly. May mga lab, lab uh, ano na, procedures, pag-advise uh, ng doktor. And then, ito pinaka-common sa ibang bansa, no? especially sa mga Western countries, even in Australia, even in UK. Uh, they usually hire caregivers, uh, private nurses. And yung mga caregivers and private nurses, they work in a care home. Okay? They do not work directly in the hospital. Some private nurses and caregivers, they work in a care home because they need to take care of individual uh, foreigner. Now, ano yung yung foreigner na yon, hindi yon bedridden talaga, hindi yon vegetable na, no? Na ano na, no? So critical na, no? That foreigner could be during the younger years what happened is kumuha siya ng long-term care and during nag-income pa siya, part of what he earned, uh, dinagay niya, binibigay niya, binabayaran niya yung long-term care niya for a specific number of period and then pagkatapos na fully paid niya, wala na siyang iniisip, pero habang uh, uh, his journey towards old age, lumalaki yung healthcare fund. Okay? Kasi nagpo-compound. Kasi healthcare savings eh. Pag sinabing savings, merong compounding. No? So, yung matandang foreigner na yun, pagdating ng 60, 65, eh, hindi natin alam. No? Kailangan siya ng caregiver or private nurse. So, uh, pumunta siya sa care home and then um, uh, or siguro yung anak niya pinasok siya doon sa care home so ang nangyari saan kinukuha yung yung uh, pera no yung yung pambayad or salary uh, for the caregiver or the private nurse uh, sa healthcare long term healthcare so the, it takes care of those medical related expenses not limited to hospitalization but includes Ito yung nakalista dito, no? Moving in out of bed, toileting, uh, bathing, dressing, eating, extra caregiving, hospitalization as well, medical check-up. So, yan yung bigger picture ng healthcare. So, if you have already a healthcare program, long-term care, you, mas lamang ka kaysa dun sa mga tao na health insurance lang talaga yung kinukuha nila. So, you have a better product with you because you have a long-term care Program. Now, no need to own long-term care 
if your company or employer provides and covers you for the best for the rest of your life. Now, again, there are a lot of private companies in the Philippines and some of them are good companies, good employers, pero ito lang yung posibleng mangyari. By the time you leave that company, I'm not sure if you can bring with you the healthcare benefits. I'm not sure. Okay, even yung mga big corporations, no? Uh, I, I never heard of companies na can cover you even nag-retire ka. Even CSM, no? <laughs> Walang ganun. So, meaning to say that the only person who should think about this is you. Okay? Uh, the person who should be concerned about getting long-term care is not your employer, but Ikaw, kasi ikaw yung, it is your journey towards old aging. So, ano yung, anong mga numbers? What, what are these realities right now? Like, two years ago, itong statistics na ito, nakikita natin, no? yung, yung blue, 53.9%. Ano yan? It represents household out-of-pocket payment. Because, what, what, what kind of survey is this? It's a survey about health expenditures and paano binabayaran ng Pinoy yung mga cost of hospitalization specifically. So, ito, yung red dito, government schemes. Yung, uh, yung uh, compulsory contributory health financing schemes. Yung probably including PhilHealth, ganun. Ito, green, voluntary healthcare payment schemes. Yung mga, mga private HMOs, ganyan, no? 12% lang. Ano yung pinakamalaking percentage? 53.9% household out-of-pocket payment. Ano yung household? Yung family, from their, out, uh, from their pockets, no? nauubos yung pera nila just because one person in the family got sick. Okay? Everybody in the family nag-chip in, chip in. Kahit men, nandyan na yung field health, nandyan na yung government support, kulang pa rin. So, everybody has to chip in. That has been the reality ever since. Panahon pa. Try to check, guys. Panahon pa ng grandparents natin, panahon ng parents natin, yan yung common na nangyayari. The question is, will you allow? Okay? Ahayaan mo ba na pagdating ng panahon, pag ikaw na yung nagkakasakit, the family will have to worry for you. Will you allow that? Okay? For me, I won't allow that. Because in, when you get sick and you are in the bed, bedridden ka, Nakikita mo yung mga mukha at ekspresyon ng mga anak mo, yung mga relatives mo. Kahit hindi mo siguro nauunawaan ano yung, ano yung uh, pinag-uusapan nila, pero if you're conscious and you look at their faces and there you are bedridden kasi nagkakasakit ka na, you'll see their faces and their faces are so sad. Not because you are sick, but also because saan sila kukuha ng pera pambayad sa medical bill mo. Okay? So, ayaw natin niyang mangyari. Hanggang meron pa tayong pwedeng magawa, gawin natin yung pwedeng magawa. Guys, ito naman yung another statistics. The real cost of serious illness in the Philippines. These are the top four or top five. Number one dito, disease of the heart. I think this is one year ago, two years ago na statistics. Hindi po COVID yung number one cause of death in the Philippines. Nandiyan, no, kahapon yan, statistics, 888 lang yung namatay. So, ba't ka natatakot sa COVID? 886 lang yung namatay as of yesterday, ever since the lockdown. Ito, either whether it's this is last year or two years ago, yung statistics in yellow, the leading cause of death is heart disease. And yung pangalawang leading cause of death, related pa rin sa heart disease, no, vascular disease. Malignant neoplasm, cancer. Pneumonia, pang-apat. Accident, pang-lima. So, guys, we need to worry on the serious illnesses that can deplete your savings, that can cause your family to worry and sell properties and close down the business. Uh, kasi, ano eh, ang mahal ng mga sakit na ito. So, hindi si COVID po yung uh, ano, wor dapat i-worry mo. Yung i-worry mo ito. Kasi ngayon, nasa bahay ka, wala kang ginagawa. Limited yung exercise mo. Limited yung movement ng body mo. Kain ka ng kain. O, diba? <laughs> so, hindi ko kayo tinatakot. Ha? Pero this is based on reality, guys. 
So if you are monitoring the COVID numbers, try to monitor, monitor the bigger picture po and prepare for the bigger picture, not the small picture. Okay? So ito guys, in choosing the right healthcare program for yourself and for your family as well, individually, ito yung kinukonsider natin. Four cornerstone of the best financial program. Kailangan merong growth, Kailangan may protection, kailangan may safety, kailangan may tax advantage. Anong ibig sabihin nito? It means, if you are going to buy a product right now, if you are paying for one financial program right now, either bumili ka sa insurance company, bumili ka sa banko, bumili ka through an insurance agent, bumili ka sa kahit anong financial company out there, titingnan mo kung meron ba ganitong component. Growth, meaning to say, Tumutubo ba yung pera mo? Does it have a savings component? Number two, protection. Mean to say, in case you pass away, pwede bang maipasa natin sa family? Okay? Kasi minsan nag invest ka, but hindi mapasa sa family mo in case something happen to you. Lahat nakapangalan sa'yo, pero halimbawa, yung nag-invest ka sa stock market and all of a sudden, na, 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 nag-pass away ka. Example lang, na for the sake of example, then the money in the stock market sino yung uh, ano mag uh, para kanino yun di ba hindi yun ma withdraw hindi yun ma access kahit sino right same thing with mutual funds no in case something happen to you i'm not sure if ma maipasa ba yan sa sa next generation sa family mo i'm not sure but kung gusto mo sure kailangan ng product has protection component yung pangatlo safety you need to say if it's invested in the stock market, that's okay, that's fine. But are you protected when the stock market goes down? Kasi minsan, or madalas, baka yung product mo ngayon, negative cash value. So it is affected by the stock market. Kailangan ka maghanap ng product na no negative cash value. Ang pangapat, tax advantage. You need to say, whatever tubo, whatever growth you have there, whether you get it for yourself as a living benefit, or you pass it on to your next generation, to your family beneficiary, kailangan zero or less or little or zero tax kung pwede. And ano naman tong very important basic financial needs? These are the specific component na dapat hanapin mo sa product mo. If you are going to buy a product right now, isulit sulitin mo na lang. Because limited yung funds mo and you want value for money sa pera mo, Make sure that you are paying for a product right now that has this component, like insurance in case you die too soon, investment in case you live long, healthcare in case you get sick, and merong burial at funeral benefit in case talagang you know mag expire tayo. Kasi pag sinabing life insurance, dito sa Philippines, guys, I tell you, ha, dito sa Philippines, kung hindi kayo sinabihan ng insurance agent niyo. Guys, I tell you now, dito sa Philippines, yung life insurance, in case of death of the client, marirelease yan. But the releasing would take one month minimum to six months. So saan ka kukuha ng, ng pangbayad sa funeral and burial cost? Kaya usong-uso yung memorial plan. But yung traditional memorial plan, kahit you know, most people are buying memorial plan because they understand the need. But the traditional memorial plan is this. Guys, I tell you again, if your memorial plan agent is listening right now or not listening, tell them this. Yung traditional memorial plan kasi, tatlong need lang yung kinikater. Tatlong need lang yung ina-address. Yung imbalsamar, yung kabaong, tsaka yung chapel. That is the major uh, benefit ng isang memorial plan. Okay? Pero what if yung chapel, you need to upgrade to a bigger chapel. You need cost, additional cost. What if you need to upgrade to a better kabaong? Additional cost. What if you need to extend the number of days in the chapel? You need additional cost. Okay? So, at least you know whether you have kulang or you have sobra pero madalas kulang. So, if you want this kind of program na mayroong apat na benefit like insurance, investment, healthcare, burial or funeral benefit, then you are looking right now at the best product available for the Filipino, itong Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder Program. Okay? 
So the Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder Program, ito po ay long-term care program that is designed for a Filipino to save for seven years. Year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, year six, year seven. Okay? Kasi savings yan. Okay? So hindi ka nagtatapon. It's the opposite of spending. Saving yan. Okay? And then, how much do you need to save? Nandyan, nakikita natin sa picture, pero sinulat lang natin para mas klaro. 58,821. This is just an example, guys. There, there are a lot of options, no? It depends on age, but there are a lot of options. Later on, I'll show you the options. But this is just an example. If you can afford around 196 pesos a day, Okay, or actually, this is not 196. It, this is 165 pesos a day. If you divide 58,828, okay, I'll divide it with my calculator, ha? If you have a calculator, compute with me, okay? If we divide it, 58, 8 to 1, divided by ilang days sa isang year, 365. 161 pesos lang a day. If you can spare 161 pesos, i run off na lang natin, 162 or 165. 165 pesos a day. In one year, that's around 58,821. And mag-sacrifice ka lang 7 years. Okay? And then pagkatapos ng 7 years, your total saving amounted to 411,750. Alright? So pagkatapos nun, fully paid ka na. Bibigyan ka na ni Kaiser ng Certificate of Full Payment. Congratulations! Bakit may Certificate of Full Payment, Jess? Eh, yung sistema ni Kaiser Kasi yung life insurance mo ngayon, yung VUN, wala yung certificate of full payment eh. Yung, yung ibang mga life insurance mo dyan binabayaran, I'm not sure if they have certificate of full payment. Ito, this is not a life insurance. This is even more important than life insurance. And it has a certificate of full payment because it has a starting year and an end year. Meaning seven years lang period, save seven years to save. So after seven years, your certificate of full payment as a proof na tapos ka na. Okay? Now, ano yung benefit na ma-enjoy mo. As we said earlier, four in one package po yan. You have life insurance for the next 20 years. You have retirement, which is you look forward to it after 20 years. How much do you receive? Sabi dyan, three times your savings. So if your total savings is 411, ano yung magkano yung three times? More or less, almost 1.2, 1.1 million. And then yung healthcare dyan, 20 years and beyond, covered ka from year 1 onwards for 20 years. Kung gusto mo, beyond 20 years, pwede. And anytime merong burial at funeral in case something happened to us. So it's the assistance that is given. Just what if meron na akong traditional memorial plan? And this is on top of that. Okay? Bakit on top? Later on, I'll show you why is it important itong burial at funeral. Because this is a game changer, guys. No? So, guys, this is the number one. 1.166 million, that is 20 years after. Kung gusto mo early retirement, then kunin mo lahat yan, 1.166 million. Gusto mo mag, ano ka, mag pension ka na 20 years from the, uh, down the line, so yung 10% every year matatanggap mo. 10% ng 116. Gusto mo mag pension ka. Pero gusto mo hintayin yung talagang late retirement, yung 60 or 65, then meron kang 6.4 or 10.4. So, ganyan kaganda yung 4-in-1 package. You have the option. And, you only need to save for 7 years. Not 10 years, not 20 years, 7 years. Alright? So, this is the component of the long-term care program. First component, retirement investment. Saan yan ini-invest? Of course, is invested in the stock market. It's, it is expertly invested. Kaya tumutubo yung pera mo. Dapat alam mo. Bakit may savings? Bakit tumutubo? Kasi ini-invest sa stock market. And we have a separate training about that. Kasi stock market, nandun lahat nag invest Yung insurance company, yung banko, even mga big corporation, yung trust fund nila sa stock market. So, ganun din dito sa cancer. So, ito sa mutual fund investment component. And then, life insurance, meron. Yung sinabi natin kanina, for 20 years, covered ka. Something happened to us within 20 years, secure yung family mo. Then, you have lifetime healthcare from year one onwards until age, uh, until 20 years or even beyond. Yun yung sinabi natin kanina. Then, ito, burial funeral services. Bakit? Again, what if yung memorial plan mo only covers in Balsamar, Cabaong, and Chapel? Saan ka kukuha ng ibang service like repatriation? Included ba dyan yung repatriation? Ano yung repatriation, Jess? Ito, alimbawa, let us say the client is living two hours away from the city. Nagkasakit yung client 
kailangan ihatid uh, sa hospital. Two hours away from the city and the best hospital is nasa city. So, nag-travel, okay, dinala ng family yung client, yung sick person, and then na, na, dumating na sa city, sa hospital, and then doon sa hospital, namatay siya. Right? So, how who will process the movement, the transportation of that body from the city going back to the province? Yung memorial plan mo, I'm not sure if merong ganong benefit eh. Right? Kung meron man additional cost, ito wala. Kasi the service is already built in. And if meron mang cost, dun kukunin sa benefit. So wala talagang hindi na mag-shell out yung family. Alright? And then, catering pa. Di ba? Chapel. Yung iba, kailangan okay, mag-attend ng, ng, ng lamay. Si dun kumain. O di ba? So kumain ng lechon. Magpalechon ka during the lamay. O di ba? Yung, yung, yung kabaong dapat ano maganda no yung chapel dapat presidential room o, di ba kasi kung buhay ka pa hindi ka naging presidente kailanman at least nung namatay ka na pwede ka nang maging presidente kahit sa chapel man lang presidential di ba so upgrade yan so who will take care of the arrangement yung family that is the beneficiary will you know is so down emotionally they cannot focus on you know, celebrating or focusing on your memory because they'll be focused on the paperwork, on the legwork, lahat ng arrangement. What if there's one company with all these services and benefit, they will take care of you and the only thing your family will do and will tell Kaiser, ikaw na yung mag-take care ng lahat. Ito yung budget namin sa Boreal Funeral. Ito yung budget namin sa catering. Ito yung budget. Kasi even OFW, may nabalitaan ako. OFW, maraming namamatay abroad. One month, hindi pa nauwi yung bangkay. Bakit? Kasi yung family back home doesn't know who to talk to, who to contact to, and number one, walang pera. Okay? Ang mahal nga yung pag-ano ng bangkay, di ba? Sa aeroplano or sa barko, di ba? Kung abroad yan, aeroplano yan. Di ba? Kailangan naman i-ano, i-barko lang, no? <laughs> I-ano lang sa river, no? So, Importante, meron kang ganitong program. Yung parents natin, yung grandparents natin, probably, hindi nila naabutan tong program na to. So, we cannot do anything about it. But right now, alam mo na na merong program na ganito and you can do something about it. So, ito guys, no? Ito yung mga suggested plan natin. Pag sinabing K100, that's the, the best plan that will give you around 1 million 20 years from now. That's the first plan that will give you 1 million pesos retirement 20 years after. That's why we're starting with that. And these are the insurance coverage. Uh, and then the accident insurance, you just multiply the life insurance. And these are the hospitalization for the first seven years every year. And after seven years, it will start to increase, build up, build up, build up. Okay? So for 20 years old, now if you're 20 years old or 20s right now, you may want to screenshot this one so that meron kang idea. Whether you are 21, 22, 23, it's all the same until 20 years. No? Maturity, 20 years. Yung uh, mag, magkakaiba lang at least 60 or 65. Yung mga figures because of course, yung the, the younger you are, the bigger money you get. you're going to get at 60 or 65. Pero from year 1 up to year 20, parehas lang yung figures. If you are age 30 or 30s, you can screenshot this one. Okay? And then, if you are age 40, you can do screenshot. Okay? And if you are age 50 or 50s, you can also do screenshot. Okay? So again, whether you're 51, 52, and parehos lang yung figures for the next 20 years until maturity. No? Uh, tingnan mo yung column dyan, projected cash value at maturity. Parehos lang yung figures. Magkakaiba lang at age 70, 75. Okay? So ask your friend, since uh, limited lang yung time natin ngayon, ask your friend right now, ano yung program that fits your need and fits your budget? Pero for me, I suggest yung program that will give you at least 1 million 20 years after. At least pwede mong masabi, milyonaryo ka 20 years from now. Di ba? Now guys, this is the most important question I'm going to ask you in this program right now. In this training right now. Are you part of the problem or are you part of the solution? Now, here, this is what you call statistics within Asia or ASEAN. Alam natin ano yung ASEAN mga countries, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia. Now, ito, this is before COVID. Before dumating si COVID, I think this was last year, two years ago. Ito yung statistics nila. This is their prediction that by year 
2025, all these ASEAN countries will spend 420 billion, okay? Or it will rise up to 740 billion from the existing 420 billion in terms of healthcare, okay? Now, ito pa yung pinaka-importante dyan. You look at the bottom, yung uh, may figure dyan na lolo, and then yun, yung date dyan, 2050. Now, if you are 10 years old right now, you have a 10-year-old kid, by 2050, he will be 60. Tama po ba? Kasi 2020 ngayon. If you are 20 year old right now, by 2050, you'll be 70. If you are 30 or 40 year old, by 2050, you'll be 80 or 90. Anong mangyayari by 2050? The elderly will make up 21% of the ASEAN's total population. Question is this. Bakit malaki yung expenses for healthcare? Because of the diseases. Ito sabi, prevalence of smoking and obesity in the region. Okay? So meaning to say, whether you get sick 20, 30 years from now, or you don't, importante prepared ka. Because if you don't get sick, you have savings. Kasi savings mo yung for in one package, meron yung savings, makukuha mo lahat sinisave mo. Good for you. But if ever you're going to get sick, meron kang buffer, meron kang safety net, para hindi masyadong mamomoblema yung family mo in case you really do get sick during that time. You have a backup or buffer or safety net. Minsan, I call it safety net. Bakit? Because safety net, because it will protect all your assets down below. You know, you, you imagine like sa circus, di ba? Yung circus, parang merong la, lo, la, uh, naglakad sa isang tightrope, ganyan, tightrope walker, nahulog siya, may safety net. So instead na mag-worry ka, na if you get sick and you have to sell all the properties, you have to ask money from everybody. You have posts on Facebook to donate for, uh, from everybody. You know, I mean, I'm, I don't believe you work right now. You go to school and just to go grow old and ask money from people because naubusan ka ng pera. I don't believe that that's your dream. Nag-schooling ka, nag-trabaho ka, dissenting tao ka. But when you get sick, you post on Facebook asking donation from people. I don't, I'm not sure if that's your dream. Your dream is this, your dream is this. By the time you get old, in case you get sick, less problem, less worry for you and for your family. And hindi masasacrifice yung properties mo, yung pinagpaguran mo na bahay, lupa, yung negosyo, and hindi masacrifice yung pera ng mga kamag-anak mo. Yung so, are you part of the problem or are you part of the... So, so anyway, guys, we are on the last two, three slides. Assess your situation right now. That's the first thing you need to do. If you learn something from my sharing right now, if if uh, if you 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 know if you sinabi ko kanina, you, you came upon a reflection. You know, you've reflected upon your situation right now. You want to move forward with the information you learned. The question is, do you have enough healthcare in place? How much do you have right now? Do you have enough short-term healthcare? Enough long-term healthcare? Do you have both? Do you only have one? Okay, so you, you need to know. And uh, important is, do you have the four-in-one package in place? If nagustuhan mo yung four-in-one package, kumuha ka ng four-in-one package. If you think you have everything already, like insurance, binilhan mo na lahat ng company dyan, uh, binili mo na yung lahat ng mga memorial lot, binili mo na lahat ng memorial plan, alam ko may kulang ka pa kulang ka ng 4-in-1 package, then bilhin mo. Kasi kulang eh. Diba? Most of the time, inuuna natin yung mga ibang product. Kasi yun yun yung alam natin. Ngayon, ngayon mo lang nalaman na meron palang ganito. Meron palang long-term healthcare, meron palang burial benefit na gano'n. Kasi yung mga life insurance company mo dyan, they will never have burial benefit. Okay? Matagal pa yan. Hindi pa yan ano yung pera ng life insurance. Dito, automatic everything. Alright? So, Reference training po. No? Saan natin kinukuha yung gusto mo ng additional training or saan natin kinukuha yung mga trainings natin. Ito, no? ProsperPinoyIMG.com You visit that one. You sign up for free and attend the four master classes. Ano yung, ano yung uh, purpose niyan para ma-upgrade yung knowledge mo financially kasi everyday you make financial decisions. So dapat lang pag-aralan natin yung pera, especially yung tamang pag-manage ng pera para we'll make the right money decision every day. Okay? Kasi hindi natin pinag-aralan yan. Okay? And of course, IMG e-workshop. Okay? Online workshop po yan. Workshop 1 to 5. 
Eh, yung master class natin, usually 50, to one, uh, 50 minutes to 1 hour. Yung e-workshop, usually around 2 hours. So, maganda rin reference yan kasi yung nag-mentor natin, nag-coach dyan, is yung mga mentors ni Brother Bo, yung mga uh, successful uh, financial gurus, no? financial uh, mentors. Okay? So, ask your inviter how to access the e-workshop because everybody can access the e-workshop. Okay? So, guys, the next step, kung hindi ka pa nag-enroll, enrollment is ongoing. Okay? Whether, you know, hindi tayo naniniwala sa COVID na lockdown kasi ibang financial education ito. Eh. Hindi ito academic education. Financial education. And it will determine your future. That what you make right now, what decision you make will determine whether you'll have a successful future, whether you have a peace of mind, full of peace of mind of future, or will you worry for your future? Okay? So guys, I hope I shared to you something relevant to you this afternoon. I hope I shared to you something that can change your financial life and you ask your friend who invited you kung ano yung uh, next step para uh, mag-guide ka niya o mag-guide ka nila ano yung mas nakakabubuti sa financial setup ng buhay. Alright? Good night, good afternoon, good evening to everybody. Bye-bye. God bless.